Well, the final launch is drawing as many as a million spectators to Cape Canaveral. Among them, a select few social media mavens with backstage passes. Ned Hibbert joins us here in the studio tonight. Hey, Ned. Hey, Melinda. You know about Twitter, right? It lets people broadcast short bulletins to their followers. And when Twitter users get together, oh, it's not called a meetup. It's a tweet up. And it's getting ready to go down at KSC. Rocket fuel, check. Communications, it's a go. External hatch secured. Uh, sort of. STS-135 or bust. That's geek speak for a coast-to-coast -coast road trip to the space shuttle Atlantis. Your pilot, Jeff Wallace. Uh, we'll get there on the 6th. Uh, the uh, tweet-up starts on the 7th, hopefully launch on the 8th. First mate, Heather Archuleta. People ask me, why am I driving, you know, 6,000 miles? <laughs> That's why. That's a real, you know, once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Chief cook and bottle washer, Camilla. The rubber chicken. Thought I was kidding about that, didn't you? No, Camila is the mascot of NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory. We're very proud to have her on our road trip with us. She's been uh, twittering along the way. You know, we're just uh, stopping at little space things all along the road. And uh, like we went to the UFO museum. We're chauffeuring her to the last launch so that she can meet all of the folks at the countdown clock. When we last met Heather, she was counting days at UTMB Hospital in Galveston, strapped in a bed practically upside down for a NASA study on the effects of microgravity on the human body. That three-month study was scrubbed after 54 days when Hurricane Ike barged in. Now, 30 years after the first shuttle mission, these two, <clears throat> I mean three, are among a few dozen invited by NASA. They got about 5,000 applications, 150 people were chosen. To tweet the last liftoff of a space shuttle. The most exciting thing about tweeting launch is really just being able to share it with everyone else. I think you're probably going to see a lot of tears at this one. This, this, will never, this will never happen again. After Atlantis, astronauts will have to hitch a ride to the International Space Station on a Russian rocket. Not Camilla, though. Been there, done that. She has actually been to space. Which, maybe that's why she's got more Twitter followers than I do. Maybe that's why. Let's do the math. Heather has 700 followers, but almost 2,000 human beings are following a rubber chicken on Twitter. Go figure.